When the Puritans came to America, they said one of the reasons why they left England and were coming to the New World is so that they could have stronger training for their children. The main textbook they were using, of course, was the Bible. Many people are familiar with the New England Primer, which taught children how to read with ABC lessons tied to the Bible. So when you learned your A, you didn't learn about apples, you learned about Adam, and attached to each letter of the alphabet was a little woodcut and then a biblical truth. In the case of uh, Adam, in Adam's fall we sinned all. So children were taught their basic curriculum anchored in biblical truth and theological principle. Now over time, those commitments began to change. And so the convictions about the necessity of Christianity and Christian education was replaced with the idea of a more generic theistic education. The same year the New England Primer was published, another book appeared, one that would radically transform educational philosophy for generations. That book was called Essay Concerning Human Understanding by John Locke. John Locke's philosophy presented the idea that the human mind at birth is a tabula rasa, a blank slate. This was a complete rejection of the doctrine of original sin, one of the notable separating points between Christian education and the humanistic public school system. America's public schools got it wrong at this fundamental level, the very nature of the child. 